over the past couple of weeks, we've taken a look at the land and cost module. So we started off with an overview, and then last week we did a basic setup, sort of basic settings. What we're gonna take a look at this week is the cost, the estimated cost that can come across. So after you order the goods and they get put on the ship and they're coming across and everything, you have transportation costs included in there. So we're gonna take a look today at how the landing cost model can estimate those costs and actually turn those into a, a real cost or an actual cost there when you actually get the bill. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you set up a shipper vendor. So let's go underneath uh, voyages. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to land at cost, all voyages, and let's act like we're gonna create a new voyage. And so you've seen me do this a couple of times before. We'll, we'll just put demo seven on this one and we'll pick a vessel and we'll pick a journey template. And this right here, the shipping company. So we've only got one vendor set up as a shipping company, 1002. So let's, let's talk about how we set up a vendor for a shipping company. All right, so what we're gonna do, let's go underneath the, the vendors. So we're gonna go under all vendors and under the accounts payable module. And let's pull up a vendor account 1002. And if we take a look in the uh, miscellaneous details section, you'll have the shipping type which we have it set to a shipping company. So that's all you have to do there to, to actually get it to, to show up is, is to set this one as a shipping company and it'll show up in that vendors list so you can select from select it, okay? So the next thing we wanna take a look at, I've already created a voyage for us. So let's go to back into our landing cost module and go to all voyages. And I created this voyage here for us. Um, and it's got two lines on it, A001 and A002. Let's we can flip over and take a look at the purchase order for it. This is an A001 for 500, A002 for 1,000. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've posted the invoice for it. Um, and I can go ahead and receive it if I want. So I go ahead and do receives good, goods in transit, or receive both of those. You've seen me do this before in other videos. Now what we want to look at is the, the transaction. So if you notice here, we ordered 500, a purchase price of $12, $12 and the net amount of 6,000. So if I go and take a look at the inventory transactions on that one, notice that the, the amount is 69, 33, 34. All right, so the, the, our extended cost is was 6,000, but we're showing 69, 33. If we look at the same, the other item too, so our, our net amount is gonna be at 24,000. If I go ahead and take a look at the, 20, the transaction on, on it, we'll see that it's 24,866. So where's, where's that extra amount coming from? So the extra amount is coming from some estimated costs that I have in there for uh, duty and freight. All right, so let me, let's, let's take a look at that. If we come up here to the voyage costs, this is gonna give us the cost for the voyage. So here's our freight and our duty. So our, our estimated costs on the freight is 800 and the estimated cost on the duty is 1,000. Now these are estimated right now because we actually haven't gotten the bill from the from the shipping carrier, okay? So we have received the goods, but, but we haven't gotten our bill yet from the shipping carrier. That will come here in just a minute. So right now that's why these are, these are estimated costs, all right? So where is this coming from? All right, so let's, let's go and take a look at that. So if we go underneath the landed cost module, again, and if we take a look inside the uh, costs, costing setup, and then underneath auto costs is where, where this is set up. And you've got several different cost areas. You've got under the voyage, you can do the shipping container, the folio, purchase order item, or we have transfer order lines as well. I've set these up underneath the voyage just to kind of keep things simple, but just know that you can set this up, you can set up by container charges or by purchase order charges, et cetera, et cetera. You can, you can set up different charges. But again, just to kind of keep this simple and, and, and easy, I've set everything up underneath the voyage. Now underneath the voyage, I've got, so here's our freight and our duty. I can add extra charges if I want to. So if I wanted, you know, let's say, I don't know, um, say fuel, all right? So we have a cost type for fuel. And then the apportionment method is how it distributes those costs across those lines. So remember, I've got two purchase order lines, A001 and A002. How do I want to apportion those costs across the lines? So you've got a lot of different options here. So you can do it by percentage, quantity, amount, volume, weight, measurement. We'll talk about measurement in a minute and volume metrics. So you can choose how you want to distribute those costs. I'll just put quantity 
And then you can either do a, a fixed amount or a percentage amount or a rate, et cetera, et cetera, here. And um, you can put in a cost. So I'm gonna, let me delete, remove this one and then I'll explain what we have for our freight and our duty. So our freight here is gonna be a portion by quantity and it's gonna be a fixed cost for $800, okay? Then our duty is also a fixed cost for $1,000, but it's apportioned by measurement. So let's, talk, let's take a look at what uh, quantity of measurement does. So we go back over to our voyage. So if we remember our freight charges was, was apportioned by quantity. So on our, on our lines here, our A001 has a quantity of 500 and our A002 has a quantity of 1,000. All right, so let's take a look at the cost. We've got the voyage cost. And here we are on our freight. And if we go into the inquiries, and, and remember, we still have estimated costs. So we go to the estimated adjustments. And we'll see on our A001, we have a, a 266.67 cost being applied. And then on our A002, we have our 533. So roughly double the cost. So we've got 500 over our A001 and 1,000 over our A002, which is double. So, so that's how it's, it's apportioning it by the quantity. Now on the other line, on our other um, cost that we have, which was our duty, we have it apportioned by a measurement. Now I thought this one was interesting because on the line, you do have to, I did have to add this via personalization. I added, added the measurement and I could add a measurement unit if I wanted to, but I just added the measurement field. So in the measurement field, I populated this with 10 and five. So basically reverse the quantity. So now A001 is twice what um, A002 was. So I've got five and A002 and 10 and A001. And then the total measurement goes up here in the top. So it'll calculate it. So what this is gonna do is it should apportion twice the, uh, twice the duty charge to the first line and half the, duty, and half the duty charge to the second line. So if we go and take a look at the voids cost again, um, and go to our duty line and then go to inquiries and then do the estimated adjustments. So now you see the, the charge for the duty is, is twice on A001 than it is uh, the uh, A002. So I, I thought the measurement was kind of an interesting, um, interesting way to do it. Um, there, so again, just to be clear, you fill in these values on the measurement and you can pretty much make them whatever you want. So, so it gives you a, a, a variable to apportion these charges, okay? So I thought that was kind of, kind of an interesting one to take a look at. So let's take a look at now. So we've got our, you know, we've, we've received our inventory. And again, if we take a look at our transaction, if you remember on these two transactions, so the first one here, we got 2486, actually this is the A two. We've got 24866. And then if we take a look at the first one, uh, we have the uh, 69, 33, 34. All right, so kind of keep those numbers in mind here when we, when we post the, the freight bill. Okay, so let's say the freight bill comes in, and so we should be looking at a total of $1,800 on our freight bill, but let's say the freight bill comes in at, at $2,000. That's, that's no issue at all. So let's, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the accounts payable, and then we're gonna go into um, an invoice journal. And let's create a new invoice journal and we'll give it a name here, which is our AP invoice. Then go to our lines. And the vendor for that was our, our 1002. That was our shipping vendor. We'll give it an invoice date. Do that today. Give it an invoice number, uh, description, and then the credit amount, we're going to put $2,000. So just a reminder, our estimated cost for this was going to be $1,800. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to functions and then we're gonna select voyage cost. So this is where we're gonna select our voyage that we wanna match this to. So this is going to be our, our 0009 or, or our voyage nine. We'll go ahead and say, okay. So we have $2,000 remaining to a portion here. So we've got 800 and 1,000. So let's just distribute these evenly across the line. So we're gonna put allocate 1,000 to that line, 1,000 to that line there. Okay, so see what we're doing? So the estimated was, 800 and 1,000, then we get the actual, it's 1,000 a piece, just to make the numbers easy. And then we'll go ahead and say, okay. And then let's go ahead and post this. All right, so once that's done, let's go ahead and back to take a look at our voyage. Um, so let's go ahead and look at our voyage cost first. So we go to the voyage costs. Now we've got um, 800 still in our estimated, but now we have an actual cost, so there's gonna be $1,000 here. 
And if we go take a look at our duty, we've got still have the $1,000 estimated, but we can have actual cost of 1,000. Now, if we take a look at the line, we can go back to our inventory transaction and take a look at this one. So remember this one has had a, had a different amount here. So it's $7,000 now. So the transaction has been gone, has been updated. And if we take a look at this one, the, uh, go to the transaction here, this transaction amount has been updated here. Okay. So if any of this is confusion, don't worry about it. Um, I'll, I'll post a link to the, the playlist here of the different uh, landing cost module videos that I've done. Uh, so you can take a look at those and then come back and rewatch this one if you're kind of confused about, about what this is doing. Okay. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found some value in this and I'll see you again next Thursday. See ya. Bye.